Hello, Matt from Bush Tracker here to show you our latest 16 foot show van. So here it is. Now this is a compact width van, tear weight of 2,160 kilos with just over 800 kilos of payload. Let's have a look inside. Here we are. So this is looking forward, I'm standing in the entryway and I'll focus on the kitchen first and we'll move our way around and have a look. So here you can see our kitchen. We've got our bench top here with our induction and also gas stove, our sink area. This is our three-way mixer, so you've got your hot and cold water, but then also your separate drinking water underneath, and that goes down to its own separate pump, separate tank. Uh, we've got, moving along, a little bit of extra bench space for preparation. Uh, our TV securely uh, mounted on the wall there, and that can be swiveled around to watch from your dining area or your bedroom area. If we look up, you can see we've got overhead storage all the way along the kitchen with plenty of room in there for all your bits and pieces. Close them up. Part of the kitchen is obviously also your fridge and pantry and that in this van is here at the back. You can see we have a 190 litre, this is a Bushman fridge. If I slide that travel latch across you can see we have a good size fridge and freezer. And they, this is a full tropical rated fridge. So essentially this fridge is guaranteed 100% efficient up to 43 degrees. Close that up. Next to the fridge we have our pantry, so you can see we've got our basket pantry up top for ease of seeing. And then below that we've got some nice heavy duty drawers, heavy duty runners, so you can load that up with foodstuffs and not worry about it uh, damaging the drawer or anything like that. Also in this area we have our shower and toilet. Now in this van this is a combo shower and toilet, obviously we're a little bit limited for space in a 16 footer. And so we've gone with a combined shower and toilet to maximise living room. So you can see we've got our toilet there, vanity, mirror. Lots of storage, both here at the top and also down at the bottom. Uh, mirror, of course, that I said. Uh, we've got the window and then further along you can see we've got a little tower rail there as well. Close that up and uh, looking forward you can see we've got our cafe seating area here. That's uh, very comfortable for two people to sit at. That can convert to be a small bed as well if needed. Storage underneath both seats and overhead storage above. Also here in the overhead above our seating area is the likes of our controls for the van. So you can see there's our 12 volt breakers, we have our stereo, the battery meter and anything else that uh, somebody wants to control for the van in there. And at the front of the bed, at the front of the van we have our bed. So this is an island bed, storage underneath of course, storage on both sides. Uh, what we also have here is the beds look high from the end but if you look down low here you can see they actually have a step. And so if you step up on there, the bed is just normal height to get into from the sides. And what you get as an additional benefit is down in here, if I lift this up, you can see a tremendous amount of storage where we've raised that floor. Uh, also both, bed, both bedside tables get uh, USB charging points, as well as a wireless phone charging point. And you can see there's a little switch there. Uh, both his and her sides of the bed get that. And what they actually do is turn on those little blue lights that are on the ends of the steps and also the one in the bathroom, so if you do need to get up in the middle of the night, go to the loo or something like that, you won't be bothering your partner. And also at the very end of the bed here, you can see there's a little nook, and those nooks are great for storing a book or something like that once you've finished reading for the night. So that's our 16 footer. You can see plenty of room for living, even in a compact package. Nice and easy to tow, being a narrow width, it's, uh, you basically don't even need towing mirrors on the vehicle, which is nice. So thanks for watching. Any questions, feel free to drop us an email or uh, comment on our Facebook. Thanks very much.